Hey guys, welcome to my channel. It's Carolyn. So today's video is for all Sun, Moon, and Rising Capricorns. What's going on in the next couple weeks? So you have Spirit Keeper of the East, Sacred Mountain, the Moon Reversed, Three of Swords, the Sun, Four of Swords, I am blessed. My courage gives birth to the divine. I am the bridge between heaven and earth. I am fully human and fully divine. Abundance reversed. Four of earth. The mother reversed. Card 10, releasing allegiances. So a spirit keeper of the East. The East is all about like springtime and abundance and growth and letting things grow and blossom into something new. And so with that, with the I am blessed, my courage gives birth to the divine and I am the bridge between heaven and earth. I am fully human and fully divine. I feel like this talks about a very like divine protection around you guys for the month of April where things are going to be growing and you're very protected and you're being nurtured and you're being cared for. But I feel like with the abundance card reverse it's like you're not necessarily going to feel this way yet. I feel like you're going to feel like you're lacking in a lot of ways in April and so it's time to really take a step back appreciate attitude and tell yourself affirmations so that you stay positive and you don't fall into a negative mindset. I feel with the releasing allegiances card and the three of swords that there's people you're holding on to that you need to let go of. You need to walk away from they're not serving you anymore. You've been holding on to them but they're they're really draining you. They're causing you a lot of pain and anger and frustration and it's time to let them go, say goodbye. And I say you need to let them go because of the rest of your cards talk about giving yourself rest, giving yourself time to think and be with yourself and become one with yourself and let everything continue growing but take a step back to care and nurture for yourself and listen to your intuition, know when you need to rest, know when enough is enough. I feel like you're one where you tend to push yourself and you like to push yourself farther than you can go and it's causing a disservice to yourself. You really need to mother yourself, give yourself that care, that TLC, make sure that you're not just providing for everyone else but that you're providing for yourself, that you're giving yourself the nutrients that you need because I feel like whatever you're growing, whatever you're building, whatever you're giving birth to, it's like it needs you to take care of yourself. The groundwork's already in place, now it's just maintaining everything and making sure that you can enjoy it by the time it fully blossoms into this thing that it, that you're creating. And so it's about letting April be a time where you can heal and rest and do everything you need to do, but take it at baby steps. Don't feel like you have to rush. You don't really have to accomplish anything big. It's just letting what you've already started continue to grow and working on that momentum and building it up. So I hope this resonates for you guys. If it did, let me know in the comments down below. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up and share with others. Don't forget to hit subscribe and turn on the bell notifications so you see when I upload other videos like this. I hope to see you guys in my next one. Have a good one. Bye.